My name is Sherry Morris and I teach second grade at Martin Elementary. I've been there since the fall of 1994. It could be a reunion year, 30 years. I always played school with my stuffed animals and my Hot Wheels. I think I always knew I wanted to do something with kids. My math teacher did things, inspired me to pick up a special ed certification as well. And then my ninth grade, I had French, Kathy Parsons. She did all the extra things, all the extra little projects that made it really fun. thought, when I teach, those are the things that I want to do. All the extra little fun stuff to make kids remember those aha moments and that make it all fun for kids. It makes it fun to do too. So what I'm teaching at the time is always my favorite. I can't say I've had a favorite grade or a favorite subject that I've taught. And having the same families being at Martin for so long, I have students of students. I like that. I like knowing the community, knowing the families I'm getting, knowing the kids, the siblings. It just makes it worthwhile being invested in that. It keeps me going every year. I had a student that some days were rough, made a deal with her mom that if school went okay for the entire school year, she could pick a trip. And at the end of the year, I mean, she had a great school year and she picked a trip and she said, but I only want to go if Mrs. Morris can come with me. And so she picked a trip. She wanted to go to Columbus Zoo and they picked me up and I went to the zoo with them. And I said, all right, we're going to dinner. And she goes, yeah. And I thought, okay, you've got all these great places to eat in Columbus. She picked Subway so she could have a tuna sandwich. That was her favorite. It was great. Those kind of moments, I mean, that one that's up there, but been in the Martin for so long that you're friends with the families and then coaching as long as I did. And growing up on South Side, never left South Side other than to go to college so it's an investment in the community not just their education and the kids and the families it just all ties into one one big thing for me I mean I was shocked because I'm our safety person and he called a shelter in place and I'm like why is everybody going in the same door this is not how we do this what's going on and then when I saw extra people in there I thought well then it's a PTA thing because there were people in black t-shirts my teaching partner said better get ready to catch what you go and pass out I was shocked. I was so surprised. That kind of recognition, I mean, there's so many worthy people to receive that, and I think it's fabulous that Jane Dills recognizes that in the community, because I think teachers and education doesn't get recognized enough for what they do. You have to work with good people. It's not a job that anyone can do by themselves. It's a community that's educating the kids. I just get to be in front of them on a daily basis. I still have people coming up to me. You were the Golden Apple winner. I remember when you got that. But to get the feedback from former students that day, the messages I got on Facebook, the text messages, and then to have you there too. As a former student, it was a great moment to have my family there, a big surprise, because my husband left and went to work like it was a normal day. And then he shows up in <laughs> dress clothes. It was, it was a really, really neat, 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 neat experience. I mean, that's got to be the highlight of my career.